everyone. Welcome to today's live stream. I'm so excited that you're here because today I'm going to be sharing my favorite beauty and fashion finds. My name is Liz. I have a DIY YouTube channel called Liz from my DIY, and I'm here with my content manager, Delaney. Uh, she's going to be helping me out behind the scenes. So if you guys have any questions for me, uh, you want to know anything about the products, just leave them for us down in the chat. I would love to know where you guys are joining us from now. So go ahead and leave me a comment now. Let me know where you're from. Um, if you're new to following us, we'd love for you to follow us. We love giving shout outs. It looks like uh, Fabi or Fabi started following us. Thanks so much for the follow. And if you're watching us on Facebook or YouTube, we'd love for you guys to click the link in the description box and come join us on Amazon Live because all the products we're talking about are going to be linked below, uh, kind of like my video here in the shop below section. Uh, did I miss anything, Delaney? Anything else? I think that was everything. Okay, so let's get started because we have so many products to talk about today, and some of them are on great deal. Okay, so the first product that I wanted to share with you guys, um, I get asked a lot of times, like, what I do for my lashes, what I wear on my lashes, and on days when I'm filming, I am wearing the Ardell 315 lashes. Now, I used to struggle with putting on lashes. It was so hard, I couldn't figure out how to do it. And what I love about these lashes is that they are about half size like a normal lash. The other thing I didn't like about fake lashes was I would put them on and I just felt like they just looked too over the top for my lashes. When I wear these, they don't look over the top. They just look like Wow, like she's got nice lashes. I mean, they look a little, I don't know, to delay. I know you think they look a little like I'm wearing fake lashes. It's not super obvious though. Like it looks kind of natural yeah. almost. Yeah, like they're not too over the top where you're like, that looks mm -hmm. just crazy or whatever. Yeah. Um, but because they're only half size, they're really easy to put on. I just apply them by putting a little bit of the duo lash glue and then I use a tweezer to set them on the edge of my lashes. So these have been a game changer for me. I love that I can buy them in a pack. I believe, aren't they a pack of four? Um, let me pull that up real quick for you. It them. is a pack of four. But $10.99, I can wear them multiple times. Like this, I'm wearing a set right now. The set that I'm wearing, I've probably worn five or six times. I mean, until they start to kind of break down, you can wear them quite a few times. So if you're a little hesitant about lashes, but you've always wanted to try them, give these a shot because I honestly struggled with lashes until I picked these up um, and they've just been awesome for me. I feel like these are really good for if you have smaller eyes as well. Yes. Like I know when I wear full lashes, I feel like you cannot see my eyes at all. So I think these are super good if you're someone who has smaller eyes. Yeah, and I don't wear them every day. I mean, I wear them when I film, but you know, they're good for like, you know, special occasions or you wanna, you know, put on a full face of makeup, I like wearing them. Okay, so let me get to the comments. Anna's joining us from Ohio. Hi, Anna. And then we got somebody from Florida. Uh, let's see. Amber says she's a newer, newer follower to my YouTube channel and she's been binge watching us. Thank you. She says she likes our content. Amber, thank you so much. We're so glad that you found us and glad that you're liking the content and hello from Indiana. Uh, Sherry's joining us from Sarasota, Florida, a lot of Florida fans. And uh, Anna is in Massachusetts. Thank you guys so much for telling us where you're from and glad that you guys are here today. We have a lot of cool products to kind of share with you today. Um, okay, next up, let's talk about, this is what I call kind of like my go-to hair product. Like if I had one hair product that I use, I mean, I use other hair products, but this is probably my favorite one. And I've been using this now for about maybe two or three years. I was introduced to it from my hairdresser and she came out, she told me about this product. And I use this on myself, and I also use it on both of my girls. It's called Redkin One United. And what it's supposed to be is it's a multi-purpose tool. It's got all of these different purposes. What I originally started using it for, honestly, was a detangler. But then it went from being a detangler to something that I could use um, 
you know, for anti-frizz. Let me see. It does. It says what it's all about. I mean, my main things are anti-frizz and detangler, but it's also a heat protectant. Um, let's see. What are all these uses, Delaney? It has, I'm not going to read them all off yeah. because there's so many. It reduces dryness. It can help prevent split ends. And you already said it was heat protectant, right? Yes. Heat protectant, heat protectant safe for color treated hair, conditions and nourishes, detangles, helps control frizz and flyaways, and it makes blow drying easier. I could go on and on. There's it like really does. there literally is 25 things on this list. If you guys click on the link, you're gonna see them all. Now, when I'm using this for my hair, I spray it on wet hair. Every morning, whenever I'm brushing out my girl's hair, I will spray this on dry hair. So I put a little bit on my girl's hair. So this to me works with, with wet and dry hair, but I spray it all over my hair before I brush it out and then blow dry. Um, but this has over 12,000 reviews on Amazon. Now the one that is pictured below is actually the larger version. This is the smaller one, but it comes in a bigger size as well. It's a little pricey, but I'm telling you, if you're somebody who buys a bunch of different hair products, this is one of those products that you really can get away with maybe just this product. Now, my hair is pretty frizzy, so in combination with this, I may put on like an anti-frizz, um, like straightening serum if I'm, you know, like going to do something like this where it's nice and smooth, but Typically, I always put this on, but I may add, you know, like one or two products just to kind of, you know, depending on what I'm going to do with my hair. Um, Anna says she uses this product and also loves it for the, the detangling part as well. My oldest daughter has very thick hair and I needed a good detangler. This really works well. So, um, I just can't say enough good things about this product. If you're hesitant about trying the larger um, version of it, maybe grab the smaller one just to give it a try and see if you like it. Okay, next up, oh, my curling iron. So I tried this curling iron probably about nine months ago, and it's now my go-to curling iron. This thing is nice. First of all, it looks super sleek. You're going to see a, like an up-close picture of it. It's the Baby List Pro Curling Iron, and it's an ion curling iron. It has control temperature, so you can actually see like the setting that it's on. I believe, is it's a one-inch barrel on it? So there are three different barrel. types. I'm not sure which one you have, but they have a three-fourth, a one-and-one-fourth, and then a one. I think the one that I have where you can see I'm curling my hair here is one and a fourth inch. If I had to guess, yeah, it's not smaller than that. The, mine is a one and a fourth, which I find kind of gives you those best, like the best like everyday curls, but it works really well. I It curls my hair up pretty quickly and the curls typically last me a couple of days, um, but I've just been super impressed with this ever since I got this. It's kind of... Uh, been my go-to curling iron. I also like that I can see the temperature settings on it. And you can see whenever I curl my hair, I always leave the ends out and then I just kind of pull it straight down. Um, I don't have any problems with like the little, I guess the clamp on it, pulling at my hair, anything like that. So it's been a great curling iron. It's got great reviews on Amazon, but I can't say enough good things about it. Okay. Next up, let's talk uh, beauty blender sponges. So beauty blender, like the actual beauty blender, they, I'm sure they don't call these beauty blenders. I'm sure they call them makeup, makeup sponges. sponges. Yeah. Yes. This is a pack of five. I originally tried these out because they have really good reviews on Amazon. And if you bought a beauty blender, they're around $20 for one. While I very much like my beauty blender, I was wanting something a little bit more affordable. This is a pack of five for $9.99. And honestly, it works just as well as my beauty blender. It has the exact same like size that I would put in the beauty blender. I put my foundation on with this. I also use it here under my eyes to tap in my concealer. Um, I use it wet. So what you do with this is you just get it out, 
put it under the water and wring it out. And then once I put my foundation on, I'll just tap it in all over my skin. And then again, with my concealer, I go under my eye. And then you could use this little teardrop shape at the top to really kind of get underneath your eyes. I'm missing one of those, one of them in here because my girls have grabbed those out and they have taken them. I believe I have another one. I have the light green one in my beauty, the one I'm using right here that I use in my beauty kit as well. The reason I like to have multiple sponges is because another thing that I like to do is I have one sponge for my foundation and then I have another one that I use when I put like darker contour or sometimes I'll put um, like a liquid uh, blush on and I like to use a different one outside of my foundation one just to kind of like tap it in like this. So if you haven't tried a beauty blender or beauty sponge, you know, for a while I was putting on my foundation with a brush this just is so much more smoother. So I also have been starting to put on powder with it. So you can actually like press your powder into your skin with it. So it's got a lot of uses, but I think this is a great price point to kind of jump into a beauty blender. You get five of them for $10. So can't recommend those enough. They do also have a coupon right now. If you guys click on the link, you're going to save an extra 15% on that as well. Oh, nice. So that's definitely a good deal. Do we have any comments coming in from YouTube or Facebook? Uh, we don't have any left. If you guys are yet, if you guys are watching on YouTube, make sure you let us know where you're from. If you have any questions for Liz, we would love to answer those for you guys. Yeah. And if you guys are just now joining us, we'd love for you to follow us here by just hitting that little X button next to my name. Okay. So next up, you guys, if you've watched some of my lives, you've probably seen these before because I kind of talk about them a little too much. But if you don't have a set of these, you need to grab one. I gave these to both of my girls for Christmas. They are the microfiber hair towels. They come in a pack of two, and you get so you get two for eight forty six, which I think is a great deal. Now, why do you need a microfiber hair towel? Well, one, it's going to be so much more lighter on your head than putting like a big bath towel on top of your head, which let's be honest, we've all done that. It's got this nice hook on the end and a button. So it just, you know, you can roll it up really nicely to put on your head. The other thing is the microfiber towel is supposed to, and I feel like it does, um, help to dry your hair. So it cuts down on the time that you're actually spending blow drying your hair because you know you pulled out a lot of that moisture. Because what I like to do is I will put this up on my hair, do all my makeup first before I go and blow dry my hair. And by the time I blow dry, a lot of the moisture is already taken out of my hair. So I love these little towels. Both of my girls like them. They come in a ton of different colors. So I have the one that's in a pack of blue and light pink. But for my older daughter, I got her the purple ones. Those are really cute. And then my younger daughter, I got her the ones they say, I think they say they're hot pink, but they're more of like a medium pink color. Uh, the one I have is a light pink color. So, so I, I mean, I just think these are such good quality for $8 and 46 cents. And it does say they all f are for all hair types. If you have curly hair, straight hair, it works for all hair types. I know. Uh, myself having curly hair, that's always a concern. Is the towel going to mess up your curls? But this one is for all hair types as well. That is good to know. Okay, let's talk eyelash curlers. So I went searching on Amazon because I needed a new eyelash curler, but I didn't want to go and spend $25, $30 at, you know, those stores that cost a lot of money. So I found this one and it was actually in one of the Amazon like bestseller lists of like their favorite beauty or kind of like their most sold beauty products. And it's called the Be Brilliant Beauty Eyelash Curler. It's under $10. And I have to tell you, it works so well. It's a great price point. It also comes in a lot of different colors. I have the one that's in silver, but I believe it comes in, is it gold? It comes in four different colors. So it has, you have said you have the silver. It also comes in black. It comes in a rose gold. And then it comes in what is called prism color, which is kind of like a colorful metallic. I feel like I would want the rose gold. I know. Oh, I it's really gold. pretty. <laughs> <laughs> I should have got the rose gold. Uh, but this, this works too. Now, this eyelash curler has 34,000 reviews on Amazon, which is quite a few. It's got four stars, under $10, but I use this to curl my lashes right before I put on my mascara in the morning, um, and it works really well. It helps to hold the curl, and you don't have to go out and spend, you know, 
what is it? I don't know. I feel like I've spent ridiculous amounts on eyelash curlers before, but then some of the ones at the drugstore just haven't worked as well for me. So if you're in need of an eyelash curler, that is a good option. Oh, wow. These are on major deal. These reusable. I know. I saw that. Gosh, what? It says you save $10 I if you buy them right now. Were like this yeah. Fifteen dollars around Christmas. It said they were listed originally as sixteen ninety nine, and right now they are fifty nine percent off. So you're going to save ten dollars, which that's wow. insane. Okay, so let, let's show them what we're talking about. Uh, Carissa, thank you so much for following us. We love giving shout outs when you guys follow us. Okay, so what Delaney what I was talking to Delaney about are these reusable makeup remover pads. Now we have been showing these for a while, and these are the makeup pads that I use every night to take off my eye makeup i will put a little bit of like cleansing water on it and i will just you know gently remove any eye makeup so i'll wash my face and you know kind of pat that dry and then i come in and you know because with whenever you wash your face your eye makeup just never comes off these pads really take it off then the cool thing about these are they are reusable. So you can put them in this little bag like this. So once I get maybe like 10 of them, I'll put them in here, close this up, and then I just wash this in my wash like normal with my whites. And they clean up really nicely. I can't believe that they're this inexpensive. If you guys have wanted to try these, I think this is the time to you know grab these at $6.99. I know we were showing people these around Christmas and they were $15.99 at Christmas. So this is a great little beauty deal that you can um, get right now. This pack comes with 18 in here. Not only is it like eco-friendly, good for the environment, but it also is going to save you money. Like anytime I can like find an item that works as well as cotton pads, honestly, I like these better than the cotton rounds that I would use. I would buy these specific ones from CVS. I don't miss them at all. The only time I miss them is when I want to remove nail polish. So I have a few cotton pads for removing nail polish, but other than that, these are, I can use them. I can reuse them. I don't have to worry about buying new ones. And the set that I've had, I've probably had now for at least a year and a half and I haven't had to replace them. This is just like the set that I keep here. So cannot say enough good things about those we did have a couple comments on facebook and youtube we had someone on facebook saying hi from british columbia canada oh cool glad you're here and then cicely jones says hello i like those makeup remover wipes i'll have to try those they're really good i think that you'll really like them cicely i um i can't believe they're on such a good deal so if you guys are interested i would definitely pick those up today Next, um, it looks like Vicki is from Kentucky. Hi, Vicki. And it looks like PD, I'm not sure the name on that one, is from Georgia. Thank you guys so much for joining us today. We're so excited you came to the live. Um, we're talking all beauty and fashion today. Um, so really glad you're here. Okay, our next product is a jewelry cleaner. Now, I somebody put, posted this on Instagram, and it, I looked at it. I was like, okay, I got to get that. So, basically, I wanted it to clean my ring. And when I went to buy it at first, it was sold out. So, I waited, and finally, it came back in stock. This is called a Dazzle Diamond Stick. So, it's basically a stick that you use to clean off any jewelry. I like it so much better than those, I don't know, what are those little cups that you put the jewelry in there? That just never was, I don't know, that just seemed kind of weird to me. But these are great. It has a little twist knob. It just seems a lot more easy to use. And I find that it really does a good job with cleaning my jewelry pretty well. Um, sometimes with my rings, I'll get a little bit of stuff in there that I may need to scrub out. But for the most part, I can run this on my ring and then rinse it under water pat it dry and it's going to shine up really nicely so the price point is great on this it's priced at 798 um yeah so love that next up you guys is my manicure set and this is at my house right now because i use it all the time this is the cutest little manicure set it really has any little tool that you ever need for a manicure set it's priced at 16.99 um, it's got 4.5 stars, over 1,400 reviews. I got this, I think, back in the summer, and it's been great. I use it the most to cut down my acrylic nails. 
the uh, cutters in there, I guess the clippers, I guess they're called clippers, they do so well at cutting off my nails. They have no trouble cutting them. Um, I really need to get a second set of these because my girls grab this set all the time. They take it in their room to like trim their nails or, you know, whatever they're, they're doing. Uh, so I think we need another set of these at my house. I love that it has that red inside. It's just so pretty. So if you need a manicure set, definitely I recommend this one. And it is 35% off right now. I don't know if you mentioned that, but it's 35% off the original price oh, cool, as well. Cool. Okay. All right. Next up, you guys, um, this is our most popular item that we've ever shown on our lives. When I show these in um, videos, like my Amazon videos on my YouTube channel, List of DIY, this is our most popular item. And the reason is, is because it works so well and it's so affordably priced. It's the Essence Lash Princess Mascara. This is the mascara I use every day. I wear two coats of this mascara um, on my top and my bottom lashes. It just is a great volumizing mascara and it's only priced at $4.99. Like it's such an incredible deal. I don't know how they get away with it being so inexpensive, but honestly, I would put this up to any high-end mascara. If you click on the link below, you're going to see that it has like over like 220,000 reviews. Like I bet this is like one of the most popular reviewed item on Amazon. What do you think? It pro I mean, it it's insane how many people buy this. Jill said this. she bought them right now. Jill, what did you buy? Let us know what you bought. Um, I don't know if she bought the nail clippers or something else. I'd love to know what you bought. But if you haven't tried this mascara, try it out. I usually have a, I, I always have a tube of this on hand and you know, I'm always, sometimes I'll try other mascaras, but I always go back to this. So love it so much. And I love that it's affordable. Okay. The next item you guys may have seen these before. This is called a facial toner. And I've really started to use this Jade toner quite a bit more. I like to use it because I feel as though, you know, like getting older, I feel like my jawline has become a lot less defined. And this roller I will put on, like when I'm washing my face at night, I'll put a little bit of oil on my face. And then I will use this to just kind of run along my skin. If you look up tutorials on this, you'll see several where it just kind of gives you like a method that you could use. Like I kind of start on my neck. Then I'll do on my jawline. I also do like right under here and then I'll pull up on my forehead as well. It takes me maybe three minutes to do. And I've just heard really good things about this helping to really define um, your neck area and the different areas of your skin. Um, you know, when you just start to get a little bit older, you know, we all do. And it's something that I can easily add into my skincare routine. I probably do it maybe... I don't know. I want to do it three times a week, but I probably do it realistically more like twice a week. So love that. Um, it's got great reviews on it. It's got over 15,000 reviews. If you want to check out the reviews and learn a little bit more about it, um, you know, that might, if that's something you're interested in. It looks like Cicely says they just bought the mascara and the ring cleaner. Awesome. I think you're going to like both of those. Um, yeah. If you haven't tried the mascara, it's definitely a must try. Okay, so I, uh, you're seeing my hair and it looks really nice today, you guys, but I honestly had to push my hair appointment out about a month because my hairdresser was sick and we just had all these scheduling conflicts. And so my roots had grown out so much. It was driving me crazy. And I was so glad that I had this next product. So it is the L'Oreal Root Touch Up. I found this back whenever the pandemic started, and this thing is a lifesaver. You can get it in blonde or brown, but you basically just spray it in your hairline, let it dry, and then you can kind of like tossle it up but it helps to extend the life of your, you know, what it, when you're getting your hair colored, it just really helps to blend it in. And, you know, I was using it, we were filming last week and I was like, I got to have my hair, you know, ready to go. And this just really helped to kind of disguise that line. You know, you could still see it a little bit, but it definitely helped to blend my hair in better. So 
if you have that where you have growth coming out and you want to be able to maybe extend the life of your coloring by a week or two, or maybe you can't get in to see uh, your hairstylist for a while, this is awesome. So if you have dark hair, you can get it in the dark as well. Okay, Vicki, thank you so much for following us. Okay, next up, let's talk my acrylic nails and the brush glue that I use. So um, this is probably, when you say this is probably my favorite set, Delaney, we, I talk about this on the most. Yes, I also wear these. I yes. love these as well. This is like our favorite thing. Lady started wearing these. I know. I Liz talks head. about them so much. I started wearing them. Uh, this is acrylic nails that I buy off of Amazon. And the reason I love these is because one, they are so affordable. You get eight sets of nails. They come in eight packs for $13.99. Like that's a crazy good deal. Before, um, you know, like 2020, I was going to the nail salon, getting my nails done. And then I needed to kind of find out a different way. So I found these nails and I just can't believe how affordable they are. The other thing I like about these nails is they're a matte finish. So they just look really nice. They are about a medium length, so they're a little bit longer. But if you need to cut them down, you can. The nails that I'm wearing, I cut down. So you don't have to keep them this long. And they cut down really nicely. So you just can cut them down with a pair of trimmers. And like the ones I'm wearing right now, I've cut those down. So you could either wear them long or cut them. Now, with these nails, you're going to need a nail glue to go with it. I've tried different ones. They're like, you know, like the Kiss nails that you can get. They have like a little squeeze tube. No, I do not like that at all. The nail glue that I like, I don't even know the name of it, but it comes in a pack of four. And what makes this a little bit different is it has a little brush on it, like, like you would like a nail polish. And all you have to do, I have a clip to show you guys. So there's four in this box. So you get four of these for $7.99. So that's a great deal. But you put a little bit of the nail glue on your nail. And then I also put a little bit of nail glue on the acrylic nail and press those on. You hold them on for five seconds. After about five seconds, they're good to go. I do let them sit maybe another minute or two before I cut them down. But this is all you need. This nail glue is going to last you forever. And I mean, think about eight different sets of nails. You could wear them a ton. So if you've wanted to try different nails, this is definitely the one that I recommend. I have another set that I'm going to show you guys in this live um, that I that I tried. Okay, let's move on to clothes that I am recommending. I feel like it's been so long since we've done a fashion haul, and I have some new items that I'm excited to share with you guys. Okay, so first up, let's talk. I have them all over here, so I'm going to pull them all. Okay. This is a jacket. I think you could try these on. So this is like a gray Sherpa jacket. It has like a little waffle sleeve at the bottom. The one I have is in gray, but you could get it. Um, you could get it in multiple colors. If you click on the link, there's so many different colors to it. Um, I have it in the large and it's a pretty big jacket on me. If I wanted it to be more fitted, like the model in the picture that you see, I'd probably size down, but large is my true size. Um, so it has a zipper to it and it's just a great, like I'm wearing a white shirt today. I could easily throw this on over a white shirt. I could throw it on over a tank. So it's one of those like great kind of cozy jackets on the inside. The material is just like really buttery soft. It's almost like a Jersey t-shirt material, but it feels really nice. And then you have the Sherpa on the outside. So I've been happy with this jacket. I considering getting it in the cream color as well, but I haven't done that yet. So definitely love that jacket. Does it say that it's a best seller on it? I'm trying to see, see on the link. Um, let me click on the oh, link. Maybe I'm just, oh, I'm looking at your screen grab there. Oh yeah. It says it is a bestseller. Yeah, on the screen grab. Okay, so next up, you guys, is the oh Sherry just said she added the hair towels, mascara, makeup remover pads to her cart. Thinking about the jade tool and the root cover up. Um, I don't think Sherry, you would be 
sad to get the root cover up. I think it's great. And the jade tool, I mean, as long as it's something you think you might try, I know, honestly, I had the jade tool sitting for a couple of months and then I don't even know, maybe I saw somebody use it on a YouTube video. I was like, okay, I need to get that out and start using it. So I think if it's something you think you'll use, uh, maybe try it out. Okay. Next up the white shirt that I'm wearing today. This is the perfect basic t-shirt. And one of the things I really like about it is it is long enough to wear with leggings. So today I'm wearing leggings with my tennis shoes and this shirt just kind of covers. It's got a little bit of a detail right here. Um, you can see on the top here, this shirt's $24.99. It's long sleeve. It's just a perfect shirt. I can wear it with a jean jacket over. I could also put on maybe like a flannel with it, or I could tie a flannel around my waist. I could wear it with this gray jacket that I showed you guys earlier. It's just nice to have a plain white long sleeve tee. I am wearing a tank top underneath because for me, I feel like it's a little see-through. I don't know. Like I put it on last night. I'm always worried whenever I'm on camera that I just don't want things to be see-through. You probably could get away with just the t-shirt, but I'm always a little cautious about that. So I wanted to tell you guys, I am wearing a tank top underneath it. Um, but just love it. Okay. We do have your jean jacket and your leggings linked next to it as well. Okay. Let me talk about the jean jacket. Now this jean jacket is a little pricey, but I have to tell you, I'm happy with the purchase of it. It's pretty distressed on it and it's got like some different, like they're darker here. Let me guys show you guys the back of it. Um, I believe I got the large, it's kind of one of those oversized jean jackets. I like wearing it, um, with like tank tops too, but it's just kind of like that perfect, you know, neutral color jean jacket. And I think it looks great with leggings. I also wear it sometimes with my joggers. My leggings, what are the leggings priced at? The leggings? So the leggings are at $26 right now. Okay, so these leggings that I'm wearing, they are maybe show this. Can you have a screen grab of the leggings? Or uh, I don't have a screen okay. grab of the leggings. The leggings that I'm wearing, I know it's kind of hard to see them, but they are a dupe for the Lululemon leggings. They're an Amazon brand legging and they come up, they are high waisted. I'm sure you might take top. They are high waisted. So they come up pretty high and they don't roll down. Like they're amazing. I have two pairs of them and I really wear them quite a bit. We got a couple questions in the chat. Shannon wants to know if your shirt was true to size. So is it a large? You know, Shannon, I would say this shirt is almost a little bigger than this is a large, but like kind of see how it kind of comes out. I mean, it just depends on how you want to wear it. Like if you want it to be worn with jeans, I may size down, but like for me, I wanted to wear it with leggings. This comes, you know, down, you know, past my bottom, which is kind of the leggings test for me. Um, but if I was going to wear it with jeans, I'd probably get a medium. So I would say it's almost a little bit bigger than true to size. Um, Sarah, I saw your comment about the toothpaste. We actually removed those from the live stream because they were unavailable. Yes. Um, so that's why we skipped over them. Sorry, those are unavailable. When they do go back in stock, we will talk about them for sure. Yes, we will definitely bring them back. Okay, so next up, you guys, I have this hoodie that I have been wearing a ton. Like, I've honestly been surprised how much I've worn this hoodie. But I mean, I'm super casual most days, so I guess it's not really surprising. <laughs> this, this hoodie is $22 and it comes in a ton of colors. I got, let me make sure. I think I got the large. Yes, I got the large in it. And I, I don't know. I feel like this color is just really cute. I got it in a light pink. It's got, um, sorry, it's got the pocket right here. And you can just see it's, you know, it doesn't come too low on me. It's kind of hits me about right here, but this is a great, um, you know, hoodie every day, throw it on, put your hair in a ponytail, wear it on Saturday to volleyball or whatever you guys do. Um, <laughs> 
I don't know. Delaney, what color do you think is good? What color do you like on them? I feel like I always gravitate towards a blue or a green. Mm -hmm. They, I mean, honestly, they have any color you'd want. I've really been loving, like, dark green lately, and I see they have that available as well. Is that sweatshirt see-through at all? It looks pretty thick. No. I it's, feel like in the picture it doesn't look thick, but it looks thick in person. It's thick, but not being like super fleece. I get really like I sometimes I get too hot if I wear something super fleece. Mm -hmm. It's not like it's a soft material, but it's not too heavy where you would just you know get overwhelmed with it. Sometimes I worry about that. Yeah. Okay. Next up, you guys. This is another bestseller on Amazon, um, but this is another great top to wear with leggings. This is like an oversized, I don't even know what you'd call it. It basically has um, this long neck up top. The color of it's really pretty. It's like a muted green color. It's got slits on the side as well, and it comes really low. So I can wear this, like I thought about wearing it today, but then I kind of was digging this jean jacket. I can wear this um, with leggings really well, and it looks cute with boots. The girl here is wearing it with jeans, but if I can find a reason to wear leggings, I'm going to be in leggings. Like if I don't need to wear the jeans, I'm not in the jeans. <laughs> that is <laughs> but, true. <laughs> uh, but this is such a cute top. I believe I got a large. Let me double check. Um, oh, actually... I got an extra large. So I sized up in this one. So I think maybe I was thinking I want it to be an oversized look. So if you're wanting it to kind of be kind of baggy on you a little bit bigger, go a size up for yourself. It's got these nice sleeves to it as well that you can kind of scrunch up. So for me, these are kind of like three, four sleeve. Um, it says, where do I find the name of the shirt? purchase i think they i'm not sure which shirt they're talking about yeah, if everything's linked everything is like if you guys see the picture of me everything is down there so delaney is clicking on all the stuff so you just click on that link um to the shirt you're wanting and it should open up your page to your amazon store um and you can add it to your cart so. and then sarah also wanted to know if the leggings have side pockets at all the leggings do not. There's no pockets on them, on these. No pockets. Okay. It looks like we got a couple comments on YouTube and yeah. Facebook as well. Rose says hello from Canada. Hey, Rose. And then we have someone on Facebook who says hi, Liz, from California. Hi, guys. Thank you guys for joining us today. We're glad that you're here watching. If you see something you're interested in, click the link in the description box and you'll come and join us on uh, the Amazon Live. Okay. Ooh, this shirt's on big sale too, Delaney. Okay. So next up, you guys, this is, I'm not going to say this is my favorite shirt. This has been my most unexpected shirt that I've purchased this, um, I guess, winter, fallish season. Okay. So this is a floral top and I wish that I was wearing it right now because it looks so cute on. It has this really high collar to it and then it buttons at the back. This looks so adorable with a pair of jeans. It's kind of lightweight too. Um, almost not even like a see-through material, but it's very lightweight. It looks so cute with a pair of jeans tucked in like the girls wearing it here. I have mine true to size in a size large. It comes in a lot of different patterns, but I'm telling you, get this one. Especially if you're somebody who, like me, like solid colors, you like neutral things, but you're like, you know, I'm just going to do something a little out of the box. Try this because it's like a floral print, but it's still really neutral. So I feel like it works, you know, and you don't feel like you're wearing too much. This is what I wear like when I want to kind of feel dressed up, but this has been my most unexpected purchase. And I've been so happy that I got this and I love that it's only $22 right now. So I think that is a good one to add. And I think it'll also transition well into spring because it's lightweight. So I feel like you'll be able to get some use out of it. Okay. So next up is my bodysuit. I bought this on a whim because sometimes when I'm wearing sweaters, I want to make sure that I have a fitted top. This black bodysuit, um, you know, it like snaps at the bottom. 
This is so nice. I wear, I bought it true to size in my size large and I've worn it under so many different sweaters. If you want like a tight fitting tank top, this is a great option. Now I will say I bought it in white and it was way too see-through. So if, if I was going to like, if I'm recommending you guys getting it, I would say get it in the black. And the cool thing is you may get this and love it or hate it. But with Amazon, you can always return things. I didn't think I was going to like this at all, but I was like, I'm just going to give it a try because I've always wanted like a tighter fitting tank top to wear under sweaters. I got it. I loved it. I've worn it in so many different videos. You guys have probably seen it. Like I'll tell, we're going to talk about this sweater in a minute, but when I wear this sweater, I wear that body suit. Okay. Next. Oh, are we, okay. Now we're doing now we're going to Sarah says I've never owned a bodysuit. Is it a pain to go to the bathroom? Does it clip down in the crotch? Yes, it clips down in the crotch. It's kind of a pain, but I mean it's not too bad. I mean, and I go to I mean this is TMI, but I do go to the bathroom a lot throughout the day because I drink a lot of water. Um, it's not too bad. Like I definitely wouldn't wear it like around the house every day, but if I was wanting to dress up or you know, like look nice to go somewhere. I would definitely wear it. Um, it's not too much of a bother for me to not wear it. If that, if that makes sense. <laughs> if that helps. Okay. Um, all right. So let me, let me show you guys this purse that I found on Amazon. I actually found this in fall and I love it. I'm excited to get it out again and use it. This is such a cute purse. It is priced at $35. In my opinion, I think it looks like it's way more than $35. Um, it's just got such a nice little like flap on it. I think it's like the perfect size for wearing with a cute dress. Um, but so cute. I love the tassel on it. I love the beaded or not the beaded, um, this little like braided detail up top of it. I also love that it has gold hardware. It's adjustable. So you could wear it, you know, crossbody. Let me show you guys how it looks. You could wear it crossbody like this, which is how I would wear it. Or you could just, sorry, I'm messing up here. <laughs> I'm getting crazy. Or you could just, you know, wear it like this as well. I feel like it's a perfect size. Maybe not big enough for my everyday bag, but definitely a cute size bag that if I was going out, you know, for a date or, you know, I just didn't want to carry as much, I would definitely bring this bag. Okay. I did want to mention my jeans because they're on as big a sale as I've ever seen them. These are the jeans I wear 50% of the time. I have a couple of different pairs of them in different shades, um, but they're the Levi's 311 jeans. I wear these in a ton of my videos. So if you've seen uh, on my channel, me wearing jeans, I'm probably wearing this pair, but they're only 27 78. The reason I like them is I feel like they look good on my body type. They're also so comfortable. Like I'm somebody who doesn't like wearing jeans throughout the day and I can wear these and they, you know, feel great. They feel fine. I'm, I don't worry about it. Um, so if you're needing a new pair of jeans, I definitely recommend these. Okay. So next up, this is a top that I've had. No, when I got this, I think it was summer. I got this. I feel like I've worn this top in so many different seasons and I get the most compliments on this top. This top has like a lace to the top of it. And then it's kind of, Oh, what do you call this material? It's almost like a linen-y cotton material. It's buttoned that. up. I always wear like a spaghetti strap tank top underneath because it's got like this little lace to it. So it's kind of see-through. I love wearing it with jeans. I'll just tuck in the front, but as you can see, the detail on it is so pretty. It's $29.99. It's worth every penny. Does it come in other colors, Delaney? Um, this one comes in six different colors. Six different colors. I love the white. I feel like it lends itself to be in a white shirt. Um, but you know, you could definitely get it in other colors. Too. It says it is 95% polyester and 5% spandex. So it's a really flowy kind of almost stretchy fabric. Okay. That makes sense. Okay. This shirt, we got to, I should have insided this. <laughs> you can it. tell us isn't wearing this. I'll go ahead I and play it. the video for yeah. them. While so you. this shirt, you guys, I have in three different colors. I love it that much. I have it in black, white, and red. 
And I have the, I'm wearing the black here, but I also have the red to show you guys. It is like a waffle neck shirt. It's got a zipper in the back and then it's got this beautiful like lace sleeve to it with like the waffle neck at the bottom. This looks great with jeans. You could dress it up even more. I don't even know what other colors it came in, but I literally have bought it in so many colors. It's only $22. So I think it's a really great deal. Um, I just love it. And I don't know. I feel like these shirts I can wear in fall and spring, but I can even kind of get away with them in the winter. Sometimes, you know, depending on the weather, I haven't been wearing them a lot, but I know come spring. I'll wear more. Maybe do they have like a pastel -y color? Maybe I need to um, right now more. they um it says they have over 30 options. Oh really? I think Amazon did an update because it shows like a couple colors and then it'll say click here to see all 30 options. Oh so they do have a couple pastels. They have a pink pastel, like a light blue, it looks like as well. Okay. We did get a comment from it looks like Gail, if you want to read that out. Gail says, I love that dress that you have on the back. Did you purchase that on Amazon? Yes. Um, this dress, if you go to, if you just Google Amazon store Liz Fenwick, I have all of my fashion um, items in my store. It just under fashion finds. And this dress is linked there. I love this dress too. I honestly, I have this in other colors too. I got it in red green um but it's a great dress for fall i need to get some spring colors okay next up you guys i want to show you my joggers now these joggers are super affordable i own five pairs of these joggers i recently just, get, just got them for my daughter as well but these are the joggers i wear them pretty much any day i can they are so comfortable I love them so much. They have pockets on them. Um, they stay up really well. I will tell you, I size up in these. So my normal size is a large. I get an extra large in these. So I would recommend sizing up if you get these. Um, they have 81,000 reviews on Amazon and 4.5 stars. I don't know who the 0.5 who didn't love these are because I absolutely love them. Um, but wanted to point those out to you guys. All right, next up is a really warm i guess they call them shackets they yeah i would call shackets. it a shacket um but this is an oversized flannel it's very warm very cozy this would be a great thing to wear that bodysuit that i showed you guys it's got these nice like metal buttons on them um it's just really well done this is another thing that i could i actually thought about wearing this today with my leggings because it comes down covers the bum um it's just really cute now what's let me see what size i ended up getting because i feel like i actually returned this and got a different size i believe i got this in a medium if i had to it's not it doesn't say the size on here but i believe the first one i got was too big and i sized down a little bit with it um, but sometimes I'll just look at the reviews to kind of see this has been great for this winter. It's a little thick for spring. I feel like, I feel like this is something, if you're going to get it, I get it now, you know, like here in Kansas city through February, March, it's still really cold. So we can wear these. Um, but probably it would phase out for me. I wouldn't be able to wear it like deep into spring. Okay. Uh, Vicki says she purchased the mint oversized pullover with long sleeve. Vicki, I think you're going to love that. That is a super cute sweater. Someone on Facebook was asking if the red shirt is more of a rust red or what kind of red is it? I would, and I, what would you say? Delaney? I looked on Amazon and it just says red. I would not <laughs> call this red. rust red. I'd say it's like when you think of the color red, it's like the typical I would primary say color. It's red. like lipstick red. It's yeah. Like too bright, but it's definitely to me like a true red. It's mm -hmm. not, it's not on the orange side of anything. And it's not kind of burgundy either. It's like it's just like a true red. To yeah. Me. Okay. Next up, you guys, this sweater, I actually waited for this sweater. This sweater was out of stock for like a month. So it took forever to get to my house, but it was definitely worth the wait. It's in a size large. I love the print on it. Now, the color of this to me is in like kind of like the middle of like a 
this is one's almost like a rusty red. Um, it's more of like a muted red, almost on like a pink side, but it's got this cool Aztec print. I've worn this now in a couple of videos on my YouTube channel. So you guys have probably seen this before, but it's priced at 39. So it's a little bit higher, but I think it was worth it. I think it's a little bit different. Um, you could wear it with jeans. I think it looks good. I like how the model has it with the white top, but I think black looks good under it as well. And it's not too heavy. It's pretty lightweight, I, I feel like. Okay. Next, you guys, let's talk about my um, hair. I'm going to call it Cripper. Waver. Waver. <laughs> um, a lot of times on my YouTube channel, I will wear my hair wavy and I get a lot of questions like, what product do you use? It is this Infinity Pro by Conair. It's a pretty good deal. It's around $34. And I usually just use it like I would a curling iron. I section off my hair and then I, you know, crimp through my hair. And it just gives your hair a different look. I also like doing this on my girls. Sometimes they like their hair to have that crimpy look to it. So if you're needing a crimper, this is the one I recommend. Okay, let's talk about the skincare that I've been using lately. My favorite skincare product that I use as a moisturizer in the morning, as well as a sunscreen, is this Image um, Image Skincare. And it's got like vitamin C in it. It's got 32 SPF. Now, if you're somebody who has drier skin, I really struggle with finding a, a sunscreen in my moisturizer that's kind of a dual purpose. This really is moisturizing, but it also has the sunscreen in it. I love this. Now, I actually will put another moisturizer on my face just because my face is so dry, you guys. Uh, but this is a great, I find that this sunscreen does not dry out my face. So I love it. I know I'm going to continue using it into uh, the summer as well. So, and it's got five stars, you know, 17, uh, 1700 reviews. I have not found a sunscreen that I like better than this. It's just, it's amazing. I've been, I honestly have been telling Delaney about it because it's so great. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now for my nightly moisturizer, I like the image skincare by vital C. This is a great hydrating moisturizer that I use after I wash my face. I put a few serums on as well. And then I will put this moisturizer on at night. I love it. It smells like oranges. It's just, it's amazing. This whole image line is amazing to me. It's you know, I, I really want to get more products from it because I have this, I have a serum by them. And then I have that skit or that uh, sunscreen moisturizer, but everything I've tried so far has been great. So I really want to get some more products. Okay. Next up, you guys, I wanted to show you now, if you have acrylic nails, this next product is definitely a must. It's called the tweezer men. I think it's just called like a nail scrubber. But this little guy is perfect for putting like maybe beside your sink, um, you know, wherever you kind of like scrub, just to really scrub underneath your nail beds. I mean, this is going to get them clean and it's only priced at $4.29. This has over 5,000 reviews on Amazon, 4.5 stars. So definitely a must try if you're looking for something um, you know, to clean out your nail beds. And then I wanted to show you guys lately. I found a newer set of nails that I've really been liking. I'm always looking for new acrylic nails and these caught my eye because they are kind of like, they have like that French tip look, but then they also have like a glitter to the base of them. These stayed on so well. I used that white and pink glue and these held on for a good week and a half to two weeks. So I definitely recommend this set of nails and you only get one set with this set, but it's $5.99 for the nails, which is still cheaper than if you were to buy them at the drugstore. I cut mine down a little bit, but they weren't too long. So this was a great set. Okay. Next, I wanted to show you guys a new brush that I've been liking. This is called the Crave Naturals brush. Now this brush is on major deal right now. It's 43% off, but 
it is only eight forty nine. Now it comes. Doesn't it come in a bunch of different colors? Yes. Yeah, so the one that's in the picture linked is actually kind of like a bluish, mintish color. Mm -hmm. The one Liz has is black, and it looks like if you guys click on that link, they have a blue, orange, pink, and purple. Yes. And this brush is a glide through brush. It's also supposed to really. Um, you know, not hurt as much whenever you brush your hair with this. I know, you know, that's always a concern for like parents with little kids, but it's supposed to be great for detangling, you know, your wet hair. So I find that it works really well on my hair. Um, it also is supposed to be really good for breakage and gentle on your scalp and you can use it when your hair is wet or dry. So the price point on this is really good right now at $8.49. Okay. Next up, you guys, I have a couple of earrings that I want to share with you. Now, this first set, I think, is a little bit unique because these are all nice wood earrings. You get a set of, uh, you get six earrings for $13.99. I love that all the wood comes in, like, a different finish, a different stain color, and they all have these, like, fun cutouts to them. I love these little dark stain ones with the cutoff holes, and most of them are fairly um, lightweight. The ones with the metal backings are a little bit heavier, but they're not over the top to where they would really hurt my ears. Um, I find all of my earrings on Amazon. I think they have some of the best deals. I'm going to show you a clip here so you guys can see what all six of these earrings look like, but they're just a little bit different. I feel like when I wear these, they look a little bit different. I definitely have worn the darker ones more than I've worn the others, but I think they all um, definitely are worth the $13.99 price point. Okay, and then the last set of earrings that I want to show you, these I just thought were so cool and unique. They're just a little bit extra than your normal stud. Um, they, you know, you put them in your ears, they're like this kind of, uh, they're a true gold, I would say. Mm -hmm. But the backing piece has this little chain on it. So it's just like a really simple earring, but it has something just a little bit extra. I find these adorable. If you had second holes, you could definitely wear these in your second hole as well. These are 22% off right now, priced at $17.98. The next product I want to share with you guys is a gadget that we picked up off of Amazon. And this thing is cool. So basically what it is, is it is a magnet that can hold up to eight pounds. So you can loop it onto your bag. You can see here, I looped this onto my bag and it has a magnet in it and it holds your purse on so well with a magnet. Now, why would you need this? Well, one, you might need this when you're out at the gym and you want to put your keys on there and you can just you know, stick it onto any metal surface. Maybe if you're on the treadmill, find something metal on there, stick it on there, and it's going to hold your keys. If you want to hold your purse while you're out at a restaurant and you, you know, want to put it on a bar stool or anything like that, it's going to hold it. You know, it keeps your uh, bag off the floor in restrooms, sporting events, gyms, chairs, bar stools. Like, think about a bar stool when you're out. You know, like, where do you put your purse? It always ends up on the floor. And the other thing I like is it looks like a keychain. So you could just leave this hooked on your bag. You don't even have to think about it. My purse right there was full to the max and it held it up just fine. Like we had it attached to my fridge and it held so well. This also comes in a bunch of different colors. So if you saw a different color that you're interested in, you could get that as well. So I think that's a pretty fun invention. All right, you guys, thank you guys so much for joining us for today's live. I hope that you found some great products that you're interested in and we'll see you next week in our next live.